Hello. We all wait for this time of the year. Yes, summer, but also, and more importantly, the Steam Summer Sale. All of us, one year or another, have been waiting for this time to find a cheap, on-sale game but can't find anything good. After scouring YouTube and the internet for good recommendations, you realise it's already the end of the sale. I, however, am here to save you from that unfortunate fate by showing you nine cheap and discounted Steam games for you. Don't worry, the timestamps are in the description along with the Steam links so you can skip to the games that tempt you most. However, I recommend watching the whole video through. People Playground, starting with my most beloved game. If you have checked my channel before, you'll know that it's single-handedly got me to almost 2,000 subscribers and a bunch of views, but that isn't the point. It is a ragdoll flinging, human exploding, violent and hilarious sandbox game with a thriving modding community. Sometimes I question people's sanity if they play this psychotic game, but then again, who am I to judge? This game, after being 90% off, has a reduced price tag of 71 pence, just under a dollar. Crazy, such an amazing game for such little money. Seriously though, I really recommend this game if you're bored and it is practically affordable for almost everyone. Can't really say much else, but just to try it. Do you want to see more of these types of videos? Comment down below and give me your opinion on that. Also, make sure to react with the video and by sharing and liking along with helping me reach my current subscriber goal of 2000. Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is one of the greatest space and adventure action packed games set in a vast one to one scale of our Milky Way galaxy. This huge online multiplayer map with over 400 billion different star systems is based on real life scientific predictions and has stunning graphics. There are also a few DLCs which can enhance your experience by letting you explore the surfaces of separate planets. Piracy bounty hunting, trading, smuggling, mining. Elite has an abundance of different occupations and routes to choose whether you want to run and hide from authorities or give Taurus a fly in your cruiser. You can even upgrade your ship in order to fit your occupation such as adding and upgrading mining lasers or adding storage. It may be a long grind in order to get a decent amount of cash but you quickly forget that as you absorb the serene beauty of the cosmos from the comfort of a first person view in your ship's cockpit. This game at 75% off comes to £4.99 which is the equivalent to about $6. Rounds by the praiseworthy Landfall Games known for a plethora of funny arcade action games, of which I am most, made a game where you are a round ball with arms and legs. It's a 1v1 game where at the start you pick a random ability ranging from being able to fire a supernova to turning your measly little pistol into a ruthless havoc reeking minigun. After winning up to two mini battles, the loser takes on another ability. This is then repeated up to four times to determine the winner for each player. This game is perfect for local and offline gaming and is great for Steam remote play if your friend doesn't own the game. The rounds in rounds can actually last quite a while if both players know what they're doing. Not that confusing the more you play it actually. The game comes in at a discounted price of £2.39 which for the Americans out there is about $3. Terraria, or Terraria, by Relogic. You've probably heard of it since it's a really popular game, but if you haven't, it is yet another sandbox game where you can fight numerous bosses and adventure through different sorts of dungeons throughout your world. Terraria has a bustling modding community, with most being in the separate software on Steam as T-Mod Loader. You still need regular Terraria for this add-on, by the way. It includes Journey Mode, Normal Mode, Expert and Master Mode for all players of all skills. It has a main way of progressing the game through bosses and allows you to upgrade your gear and craft or collect new weapons. However, for new players I recommend spending a while traversing the Terraria wiki if you are ever stuck. This great game comes in at the price of £3.43, $4.33, half off from the summer sale. A Dance of Fire and Ice, more commonly known as a Dofi, is a cheap rhythm game that is just as annoying and frustrating as other games like Os and Geometry Dash. There is a live competitive community surrounding this game and has great sung map mods on the Steam Workshop as well. 
Basically, you control this ball and tap to hit certain different tiles on different songs. These tiles then have different shapes and directions. The ball moves to hint at how the game wants you to approach these different rhythms. If you're interested in trying rhythm games, I really recommend a Dofi. It comes in at a cheap price of £3.83, which is $4.77. Valve Complete Pack. Now this isn't one singular game, but it's a bundle of games coming in at the enticing price of £4.57. Its original price would have been £102.10, and is at 96% off. Ridiculous! It contains 22 excellent games by Valve, such as Portals 1 and 2, along with the Half-Life franchise. These games may be a little bit older, but they still don't take away from the limitless entertainment and endless humour. Heavenly Bodies A relatively new game where you're a lone cosmonaut or you can bring up to four friends in a chaotic, zero-gravity environment. You can solve quite a few intricate puzzles, all based on real-life challenges of space such as food and water shortages, communication, mining and whatever unfortunate events you may face. However, the only downside to this game is that it requires a gamepad or controller to play. This is due to the complexity of the arm and leg control since you use the joysticks and triggers to grab and launch yourself from surfaces since you have full control over the astronauts' arms and legs. The fact that you can play this with Steam Remote Play just adds to the limitless possibilities of entertainment of this difficult and stylized game. This game comes in at a more hefty price of £10.84, which is about $14. However, this slightly higher price tag, in my opinion, is still worth it. The Just Cause franchise contains similar, fun, destructive open world games with a great storyline to follow. For me, it's the freedom of destruction you have over vehicles and structures in the game. You get the free control of a customisable wingsuit along with tethers and grappling hooks to latch onto any surface, sending you flying into the air to later cause chaos to those below. Stick Fight the Game Another game by Landfall, Stick Fight is a funny, crazy and action packed game where up to 4 players, local and or through Steam multiplayer, battle it out to see who is the best. There is an array of categorised weapons in this game, with all of them having a slightly different chance of spawning in the map. My favourite has to be the Black Hole Gun, the rarest. The game is set in an almost fully destructible map where you and your friends fight for the crown above their stickman heads. There is also a level editor and a large amount of player created workshop maps which add that little bit of extra spice if you're bored. This controller supported game comes in at the dirt cheap price of £1.59 which is the equivalent to about 2 American dollars. Well done, you made it to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed these great game suggestions, all at a reasonably discounted price due to the 2023 Steam Summer Sale. However, if you are watching from any previous years, I doubt the prices will have changed much. And yeah, have a nice day and see you soon.